Okay guys, I think my <laughs> I think my camera went off right at the end. Of the extraction with that platinum solo with the uh get trooper soldier. For me, this is nothing special. Uh, to you guys, it might be. I showed you one platinum solo with him on um, on go. Okay, I did that in 55 minutes. That was with um, on Reapers, and my loadout was this. Probably the same thing I had last time. I had armor compartments. I only had a psychotic mod one. Okay. And I had pistol and I really don't know because I had it set as you can see I had it set public nobody showed up so I just did it platinum solo by myself before anyone even show up in 55 minutes um I'm sure I had crowd at rounds four because I have so many of those but I do remember I had Cyclonic Mod 1. Pistol Amp may have been just on one. Pistol Rail Amp 1 because it was a public game. I probably didn't want to waste my real, uh, Pistol Rail Amp 3. Don't quote me on that but he does, definitely does not need it. Uh, you could, I mean it could knock barriers down a hell of a lot quicker I suppose but with the heavy barrel um, the, the Acolyte 10 is, has so much damage that pistol damage may not be it may not be necessary. Matter of fact, I probably if if I would have known I've been doing a platinum solo, I could have took another weapon or uh, put it put like the collector SMG. I could have put the um, SMG uh, power modifier uh, power amp, but. I'll just go over a quick review with you guys. I, as y'all seen in the last one, I did this with this guy. I believe I had a Cyclonic Mod 4. I don't remember if it was Cerberus or Reapers, but I did it on white. It may have been Serbs. May have been. I don't. I do not remember. It may have been Serbs. Uh, but I had this stupid ass melee build on him. Okay. And like I told you, I took that off. So in case you haven't seen the video, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to spec this guy properly. Run them platinum and gold. Solos or not solos. I just, I, I, this is the way. Go range. Uh, Invader 1 will tell you go duration. I do not see the point of that. I go for more damage. 40% more damage of that is just better because, I mean, his recharge speed is so great. You're able to take enemies out. I guess this will make them burn longer for a longer duration, but. When you got power modifier on your weapons, you really don't need it. And I'll go into the powers with you more again with him on this. On a, this, of course, you can take barriers. I don't see the point in that. Acolyte, knock barriers down and demolish armor with 50% more. Okay? I went through this already. This, okay, as you see, last time I had this, I had this crazy melee synergy build with this guy. That was just did not, was not good with him at all because... His heavy melee drains his shields, thus causing me to get killed. Uh, damage protection. I just went ahead and took damage protection 5 just to give this guy max damage. This is debatable for you. This is actually great. This is the third platinum solo I've done with this guy and it's been so easy every time. The first time I, I, I was very unsure of myself. He is one of the first out of one out of the first top 10, to 10 players I did so I believe I had this so I could have the should recharge just super great and it was I just had it this is good to take guys damage is also great for his flamethrower so it's how if you're not comfortable yet put the shield re, put the shield recharge on that way I mean it's just incredible getting his shields just in you know what I could have done I had a cyclonic mod one on this guy I could have put shield. I could have ran with the shield three on this guy. Uh, shield regenerator three. I forgot what it's called, but regenerate shields faster. But go for the damage protection, of course. You do not need this with this character. He only has the flame door. The flame door already has the capability of recharging quickly. Okay, damage protection. Get it 40% damage for him. Go with the power synergy if you just want to really burn shit up. 
or take the 15 recharge but here okay this I went what recharge of speed okay this allows me to carry heavy weapons I don't need the accuracy okay I had that on them last time I'm not using any weapons that require accuracy with this guy I put the recharge faster that way I could carry uh, the heavy barrel on the pistol and bring them another SMG and have my flamethrower quicker it helped out a lot uh, this would also be nice if he was but he's not a weapons class uh, really I don't use I don't need a faster acolyte because actually I don't think that will work on the acolyte I really don't think because it is a charged weapon um, uh, this just power damage more power damage for his flamethrower it's a glitchable character I want max power damage that's why I was able to run through this so easy it just I mean, burn them and run away. Look, more damage. Uh, I could have went for this. This is also great. Movement, enhanced speed. This is up to you. This is great. It ran vision, 60 more percent. I could see at 15 meters. That would allow me to see a great amount of distance further. I mean, like, see almost the whole map, which would be incredible. But once again, with this guy, I just don't deem it necessary. I'd rather have the more damage giving me 17. 0.50% that's just more damage when I have this on and that's not just for my flamethrower that is for my acolyte that is for my weapon so I'm getting more weapon damage I'm getting more flamethrower damage that just makes this guy great network AI okay guys look um, power of course power of course again weapon damage and get damage yes weapon damage so I got if I would bring, bring a get weapon I would have 25% on that, which I could I could have brought the guest post shotgun uh, with this guy. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, that would actually be great. I use it on the GI, but I don't. You know, acolyte is my main go-to. Um, but weapon damage, 15%. Add that with the 17%. While I'm in hunter vision, that's 27% weapon damage. And okay, of course that helps and shows, guys. Hope that wraps it up for you. It's your boy Warrior 12, aka the Phantom Slayer. I am out. That's another platinum solo for you guys. That is on Giant Reaper Platinum with the Get Soldier Trooper. Unintentional Platinum Solo. I had it public. Look, uh, nobody showed up. I pulled it off in 55 minutes. <laughs> uh, was not specced out for a Platinum Solo and still did it with this guy. That's how good he is. That's how great this character is. And if you just know how to play the game and know the map. Anyways, that's it. I'll leave y'all at that. I'm out.